Who's going to win the 500-mile race? That question is being asked with increasing frequency each day as mechanics and drivers rush preparation for the 32nd Annual Classic at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, May 31st. Today, you can hear some expert opinions on the subject because such outstanding racing figures as Wilbur Shaw, Tommy Milton, and Ted Horn are gathered around the microphone to answer our questions. 25 years ago, Milton became the first two-time winner of the big event. Shaw, who's now president and general manager of the Speedway, has three victories to his credit, and Horn is the AAA champion, who's finished fourth or better in each of the last eight 500-mile classics, although never a winner. Now, what's your guess this year, Wilbur? Will a veteran or some comparatively unknown newcomer lead the way home? That's a tough one to answer, Stan, because there are so many promising youngsters in the field this year. Any one of half a dozen of these boys might blaze a brilliant path right into victory lane, as Frank Lockhart did in 26, and as Bill Holland almost did last year. But I don't know of any competitive event in which a greater value is placed on experience than at Indianapolis, and my vote would go to the veterans. Well, I see Ted and Tommy are both nodding their heads in agreement, so the vote apparently is unanimous. But before talking about the chances of the veterans, Wilbur, tell us about uh, some of the best of the newcomers. There are three, Stan, who are outstanding in my opinion. There are Walt Ader of Bernardsville, New Jersey, and two Californians, Mac Hellings and Jack McGrath. But I believe that Hellings is the most dangerous threat of the group for two reasons. In the first place, he has built up an exceptionally fine driving record on the Pacific Coast. And in the second place, he has been chosen by Lou Moore to drive the new car which Moore built since placing his two Blue Crown spark plug specials in first and second place last year. Lou Moore is a very fine judge of driving ability. You've seen all the good drivers the last 25 years in action, Tommy. Which of them has the best chance of winning this year? I don't feel qualified to single out one individual, Stan, and say that he is the likely winner because there are five or six with almost equal chances. Ted here certainly is due for a victory after finishing fourth or better in each of the last eight races. He'll be driving Cotton Henning's Maserati, which is one of the fastest cars in the race. Rose and Holland ran away from the field last year and unquestionably could have gone much faster if they had been crowded. Cliff Brazier did a remarkable job last year, and the car will be much easier to handle this year because the trouble with the front wheels has been entirely eliminated as a result of experiments conducted at the Speedway early last fall. Another veteran who should be among the leaders all the way is Chet Miller, who didn't get into last year's race. He will be Brazier's running mate in the Novi Groove Piston Specials, Rex Mays, of course, is always a strong contender, and I'm inclined to believe that the winner will come from among these six. Well, we haven't heard from you yet, Ted. Uh, Have any of the favorites been overlooked? Well, I can think of several other good drivers I'm going to keep an eye on, Stan, especially Jimmy Jackson. We've been playing tag with each other in each of the last two races. Two years ago, he finished second, and I finished third. Last year, I finished third again, he finished fifth. This year, Jimmy has the best car he's ever driven, the Howard Keck Special, which is almost identical to the Blue Crown Spark Plug Specials of last year, and he's going to be hard to beat. Are there any outstanding veterans in this year's race, Wilbur? Oh, yes, Stan. There are several. Right offhand, I can think of at least four who merit special attention. Russ Snowberger, who has finished among the top ten on five different occasions, has a very fast Maserati, which is almost identical to the one Ted Horn will drive. Cotton Henning is preparing a mighty fast car for George Conner. Two other drivers who know how to get around the speedway in exceptionally good time are Tony Bettenhausen and Duke Nalen. And several of the other boys who haven't had an opportunity to drive really good cars in former races probably are more dangerous than their records might indicate. Don't you think so, Tommy? Yes, I do, Wilbur. Every experienced driver who has been assigned to one of the 15 new cars in this year's race must be regarded as a distinct threat. And that's the general picture of the forthcoming 500-mile automobile race at Indianapolis on May 31st, as viewed by Ted Horn, Tommy Milton, and Wilbur Shaw. Eilings, McGrath, and Ader among the newcomers, Rose, Holland, Horn, Berger, Miller, Mays, Jackson, Snowberger, Bettenhausen, Nalen, and Connor among the veterans, with a chance that some outsider in one of the new cars may duplicate the unexpected victories of Frank Lockhart or George Souter approximately 20 years ago.